Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I have an unboxing video for you that I'm ultra excited about ever since I placed this order. I was thinking if I should do an unboxing video and as always I've put it to the question on my Instagram so if you guys don't follow me there it is always linked down below. And I have to admit, I actually forgot to look at what the final thing was, if I should do the unboxing on YouTube or on Instagram. But the last time I had looked, the majority of people had said YouTube. So that's what we're going to be doing. As you've seen from the title, this is going to be an unboxing of Maison France Kirk de Jeanne. I have ordered from them. Um, it, the order itself, I'm not sure how long it took. It definitely wasn't like instant. Um, but yeah, it arrived yesterday and I've been so excited and it took me so much restraint to not open this already but yeah I want to do the unboxing with you so this is just the outer packaging and let me see how I can properly show you this I think maybe this way is better yeah so there we go we have the outer packaging with some of these like little paper thingies and then in here we have a Maison France Côte Jean box so I'm going to be taking this out now and then showing it to you so as mentioned inside we have the Maison France's Kirk Jam box and then we have a little note and ooh, this is interesting. So this one says uh, we're pleased to reveal a unique preview of the Cologne Fort collection um, and I guess this is something about the like different it has Aqua Vitae, Aqua Universalis, Aqua Celestia and apparently they all get a stronger version now and um, they, I think, I guess they've put some samples in here, which is super, super nice. And then in here, I believe, is just the, so you get this little um, letter. And I believe in here is just the uh, receipt. Let me see if I am correct about that. Yes, so you have the receipt and then you have a little card as well, which has nothing on the back. So you could write that or like, use as decoration if you wanted to. Now for the actual box, I will try to open this right next to me here. So uh, let's see, it's a bit harder than I was thinking it would be. Okay, I'll open on my lap and then show you. So yeah, the top just comes off like this. And then this is what the inside looks like. So you have this paper with a little gold sticker. And then you open it up like this. I will just show you this quickly. So you guys can already see what I got. I got Baccarat Rouge, I got some samples. Um, there's a hand cream up here. And then there is this cologne collection that the little paper just mentioned. Okay, so I've just opened the little cologne collection first. So you have Aqua Celestia Forte, the Universalis uh, stronger version and the Vitae the uh, stronger version. I I don't know. I'm not going to go through all of them today. I don't think. Maybe. Should I? I'll, I'll, okay. I'll, I'll try these in the end, okay? Um, but yeah, so that was a little thing that I did not expect to get at all, but that was very nice as a little surprise because I never tried any of these. Um, but I have actually, the Vitae was one of the um, samples that I chose, so I have it double now um, but yeah I, for my samples i chose the vitae so i'll definitely try this one and for my samples i also chose the baccarat rouge x-ray and uh, yeah i'll you know what i'll just try these right now because i know what the um the general one smelled like so this one is the vitae the forte sort of strong version of it and let me see okay Definitely a aromatic kind of herb-like smell. It's really nice. It, I was going to say it reminds me a little bit of like basil fragrances, but it actually doesn't. But it has that certain, like that, that true aromatic, like herbal aromaticness to it. Mm, I quite like it. I, I don't think I would, like just from the very first time sniffing it, I don't think I would get a full size of it, but it's very nice. It says it is an eau de parfum with citrus, spices, and ylang ylang, um, embraced by an accord of sandalwood, vetiver, and benzoin. So I'm assuming that this one will get a little bit like sweeter and more vanillic once the initial um, citrus and spices subside. So yeah, this one is the Aqua Vitae Forte, which was one of the samples that I chose anyway. Also comes in this little collection, it was a surprise. 
And now we have the Baccarat Rouge 540X train. Oh wow, okay, so the X-Tray is really, really good. Maybe it was not a good idea to spray this now when <laughs> I bought the Eau de Parfum version. But wow, the X-Tray is really good. I feel like it's sweeter than the, the Rouge. Like, initially, it has more, like, sweet and a little bit, like, more prominent floral notes. The floral notes are still not, like, overpowering, but I get more of the, like, florally sweetness right from the beginning, even though it's still one of the more understated notes, I would say. Oh yeah, but wow, this is good. Mm, I had someone tell me I should get the X-Tray instead of the Rouge, um, the normal normal one, but... Okay, so the X-Tray, amazing. So very, very nice samples. And now what we have left in here is this little sample. This is a 5ml of Gentle Fluidity Gold, which was one of the options that they give as a like present with purchase and I really love Gentle Fluidity Gold so I decided to get this one. I will just show you it quickly before we get to the main um, <laughs> the main attraction which is what you all came here for and what I have been withholding for the last couple of minutes. So I'm actually not sure if this is the gold or the silver because looking at the sticker I thought it might be a silver. Let's see. So from here, it definitely smells like the gold, which is good because I do prefer the gold over the silver. Yeah, so yeah, I now have this. This one was another contender for full size, but in the end I agreed with a lot of people that said I should go with Baccarat Rouge, which, you know, is the original, is the classic. So yeah, we have that. The other item in here is the Ala Rose hand cream. I wanted to get this and try. Mainly, I think it was something about like either the shipping or the like gift with purchase that I really wanted. But I decided to give this a try because it really, you know, I think there's nothing more luxurious than this and my hands have been getting very, very dry. So I'm super excited about this one. Again, I've never tried the A La Rose um, scent, but I will now. So this is the little hand cream and just a waft that's coming out of here is really nice. And yeah, so it's still closed, but you can smell a little bit of it and it just smells like you know like a super expensive luxurious rose cream so yeah very happy with this one and now let's get on to unboxing the baccarat rouge 540 which is what i know you're all here for so this is the packaging and i will go more in depth on this one now so this is the packaging you can see it is wrapped in plastic you have this gold um thing on the side and now it's focusing my face we have that this is the back very plain and then this is the other side so i'm just going to open up the plastic now keep in mind this is my first ever like full-size um maison france kirk jean and i'm so excited i hope you guys can see this because i know with the white a lot of it is getting um pushed out but this opens as like a flap so it's not like anything that you pull up so there we go so this is how the flap opens right you guys can see this here i'm just going to oh okay wait okay <laughs> okay so this is how it's coming out but it is actually <laughs> guys i'm so sorry Okay, so actually, this is what is supposed to come out. It has the Francis Kirkjean little insignia here again, and then you have a little thing here that you pull, and there is your fragrance. And wow, this is absolutely amazing. I want to turn this around because I, I am so afraid it will fall. Um, if you guys remember that one video I did where something fell. Wow, okay. So this is the presentation. It is really nice. Someone said you have to unbox it on YouTube because the presentation is just so good and I agree. Ooh, they even managed. Okay, so when I ordered this, I uh, didn't see that they had like a free engraving going on and then I saw after I placed the order and then I wrote them if I could still have something engraved and they did it, which is so nice. So I had uh, 1.5K engraved because that's a milestone I recently reached with this YouTube channel, but yeah look at the bottle so this is the bottle in all its glory i'm like grabbing onto it quite hard because as i said i dropped a bottle of fragrance before 
Um, yeah, so you have the uh, little sticker here. This is how it looks from the side. You can see the inside here. And then of course the cap is absolutely beautiful. So yeah, this one is the fragrance that I got, the Baccarat Rouge 540. And it is so gorgeous. I will spray on a little bit right now just because I absolutely adore it. And um, yeah, okay. I'm super, super happy with this choice. I cannot believe that this has come into my collection. As my first MFK, you guys know my whole story with Baccarat Rouge. I'm not gonna repeat it again, but yeah. This is my unboxing of this little thing. There's one more thing, which is like a little card here. And I just wanna see what it says, cause it says like it's a message, but... Okay, so it tells you a little bit about the fragrance itself, the inspiration, and then just like use instructions. Okay, so not as magical or whimsical as I was expecting, but yeah. This was my little unboxing fragrance in here. This goes in here, and then yeah. So the presentation overall was super, super beautiful. I had so much fun unboxing this live with you guys. Let me know if you like these kinds of videos and I can do them more for, you know, fragrances that are a little bit on the higher price point. I think it's always nice to see sort of what the little, um, like the whole presentation, the whole experience is like. I really enjoyed doing that for you. If you are interested, I will do it again for different fragrances. And yeah, guys, that is it from me today. I hope you have enjoyed the video. There will be many more coming this week and I have so many cool ideas. But as always, if you have any requests for videos, please leave them down below. And yeah, guys, that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I cannot wait to see you in my next one. Bye, guys.